I'm State Representative Orlando Ramos, and I'm running for mayor because I love this city. I was born and raised in Springfield by a single mother who worked as a cashier at Walmart. I graduated from Pondo Vocational Technical High School with a degree in carpentry, a degree that I used to turn into a career. And I've been a proud member of the United Brotherhood of Carpenters, Local 336, for the past 21 years. I served four terms on the Springfield City Council, including two terms as council president. And I'm currently serving my second term as a member of the Massachusetts General Court and representative for the 9th Hamden District. I'm running for mayor because I don't believe anyone should be mayor for 20 years. I'm running because our city is facing a lot of challenges right now that are not being addressed, including public safety and affordability, which are my top two priorities. I'm running for mayor because I believe in a transparent and inclusive government where the average citizen can be part of the process. I'm running for mayor because I believe we can reclaim our identity as a city of first. And I'm running for mayor because what our city needs right now is a mayor with a new vision who can move the city of Springfield forward. I'm the only candidate in this race with state and local experience. I know how Boston works. I know how City Hall works. And I know how important it is to maintain a relationship between the two. I want to use my experience, my connections, and my relationships in Boston to benefit the city of Springfield. I have a bachelor's degree in public policy from the University of Massachusetts Amherst, and I have a master's in public administration from Westfield State University. Um, I've authored more legislation than any other candidate in this race, including the policy that brought police body cameras to the city of Springfield. I lowered property taxes for seniors by creating a tax work-off program. And I got the illegal dirt bikes off the streets by authoring three pieces of le legislation that eliminated the illegal dirt bikes. I have a proven track record. When I say I'm going to address an issue, I find a way to address that issue. And I never take no for an answer to a question or a problem that deserves a yes. Public safety, number one. We are in the midst of the most violent, violent summer that our city has ever seen. We just had our 24th homicide, which is a record for the city of Springfield. And instead of taking action, Mayor Sarno wants to blame the judges. And blaming the judges is not a public safety plan. Blaming judges is not going to make our city any safer. We need a mayor with a true public safety plan to address the violence of today but also take preventative measures to prevent violence tomorrow. And I am the candidate with that plan. Year one, I will hire 50 new police officers at no cost to the Springfield taxpayers by utilizing a federal program to cover the costs. I want to bring back community policing to the city of Springfield. Community policing has been proven to work in the late 90s and early 2000s right here in the city of Springfield. I want to create a gun court to streamline the many gun cases that we have pending in the, public, in, this, in the courts and get these criminals off our streets. Police substations and high crime areas, we need to invest in economic development to provide job opportunities for young people, and we need to invest in mental health to address the mental health crisis. The city of Springfield has many nicknames. Among them, we've been known as the city of first. We used to be the city of innovation, the city of manufacturing. But somewhere along the line over the past 16 years, we lost that identity. And we've become known more for police scandals than anything else. I'm running for mayor because I believe we can reclaim that identity as a city of first by investing in innovation, by investing in manufacturing, by investing in entrepreneurship. Believe it or not, the largest employer in the city of Springfield is not Bay State Hospital, it's not Mass Mutual, it's not MGM. The largest employer in the city of Springfield are the small businesses, the mom and pop shops. When you combine them, they employ more people than anyone else. And this administration has neglected the small businesses. And so I want to be the mayor 
for small businesses in all 17 neighborhoods in our city, not just downtown. I wanna be the mayor for small businesses, not just big business. And I wanna be the mayor who brings back manufacturing to the city of Springfield. And that's part of my plan and my vision to reclaim our identity as a city of first.